Seroma is a fluid collection that can occur under the skin, soft tissue following surgery. This is not infection or blood, but rather your body's natural fluid. When we cut ourselves, you'll notice that the tissues are wet. If a space is created in surgery, the fluid can begin to accumulate faster than it is reabsorbed. When this happens, you have a seroma. Typically, this presents as swelling of an operative area without signs or symptoms of infection. On examination, when you tap the tissue, you may see a wave of motion present across the tissue. This is known as a fluid wave. In the office, if we're unsure, we may utilize ultrasound for evaluation or attempt to aspirate with a needle. To prevent seroma, various techniques are utilized. The most common is surgical drains. In our practice, however, we often don't use surgical drains. So how do we avoid seromas? Well, there are several different ways. First, fill the space with an object and pressure, such as a breast implant. Second, eliminate the space, such as progressive tension sutures, where we close the space for fiber and glue. Third, finally, compress the space through garments or hemostatic nets. Despite best efforts, seromas can still occur, and studies show rates from one to 10% or even higher. What do we do if they occur? Sometimes we're able to aspirate these and compress. Other times we place percutaneous drains. For larger areas, we'll place a surgical drain. If drains are placed, be prepared that they often stay in place for one to two weeks or more. If you don't treat a seroma, this can lead to further complications and permanent deformity. Despite proper operative steps, Seromas are an occasional complication of any procedure. The key is recognition and treatment of these to prevent long-term adverse events.